Hello, my name is Metin Arıdaşır. This is 262nd part of explanation of my theory. According to my theory and my formulas. anti ato second quantum anti-quantum lambda E11 0 0.7518 nanometer password of sodium atom spectral lines wavelength values no need at the second laser pulse to check where the electron is in an atom what is lambda 0 0.7518 nanometer what does this wavelength represent and what does it have to do with the sodium atom? If I hadn't found this code in nature for each atom, for every atom, every kind of atoms, there are different codes like this for different atoms that I put forth that I formulated as I told you before yes if I hadn't found this code in nature I wouldn't have predict this precise results you see what results Only this line, 0 0.856 nanometer wavelength sized tenth electron of sodium, another coat of sodium line, wavelength line. But rest results are 0 0.7518 nanometer wavelength 11th electron wavelength passwords results that I put forth don't forget for all pages left side my prediction according to my theory and my formulas right side NIST data National Institute of Standard and Technologies observations measurements experimental results page 1 I advise you to compare Page 2. Left side mine, right side NIST. Line by line, I advise you to check. Here. Fourth page. I have computed according to my theory and my formulas right side NIST data, left side my computations sodium atom totally I have predicted sodium atom is a multi-electron atom so, okay. Yes. If I hadn't found this code and this code in nature, I 
wouldn't have predicted these precise results you see. These are results that the quantum theory these are results that the quantum theory these are results that the quantum theory could never have predicted. Quantum theory faces at that end regarding the multi-electron atom multi-electron atoms, and this theory couldn't overcome Niels Bohr's theory that single electron atom limited also. Yes, this wavelength 0 0.7518 nanometer, this wavelength is the wavelength radius of an electron in a sodium atom. Didn't quantum theory say that the electron is dimensionless point particle? Is this the De Broglie wavelength of that electron? No. Because if the electron is at rest, not relocating, the De Broglie wavelength is undefined. Moreover, as I showed you before, the De Broglie wavelength formula is wrong. So, is the electron I mentioned motionless? Yes. How can there be a motionless electron in an atom? Didn't the electron in the atom at least act as a standing wave? This idea based on quantum theory, alliance with the, the De Broglie wavelength. First of all, let me state that the electron is not inside the atom and is the spherical ring-shaped continuous motion form surface boundary of an atom. This spherical, this spherical boundary is the electron motion form itself. Eventually, This is proton. Okay. And this is electron motion form. That may joint motion with a proton, okay? This is, say, this is hydrogen, one proton, one electron, and this is boundary, electron motion forms, boundary is hydrogen atoms boundary also. Yes. This spherical boundary is the electron motion form itself. First of all, again, let me state that the electron is not inside the atom and is the spherical ring-shaped continuous motion form surface boundary of an atom. Its motion, yes, it is at rest not relocating, but its motion, ring-shaped spherical motion, goes on. But it is 
motionless because of not relocating okay at rest this spherical boundary is the electron motion form itself eventually this spherical boundary is a motion form but now this motion form does not relocate or change unless it is disturbed pocket this is a proton bound electron motion form p bound electron motion form only at its and is equal one first cycle now from now on when make joint motion with a proton and a proton bound electron motion form cannot produce and propagate successive waves as free electron motion form does yes you can say that you can say that this electron is its this electron is at its ground state but don't forget it is still a motion form and this spherical motion goes on Yes. Every inseparable point this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, this point. Every inseparable point of this surface is a photon that has a specific mass wavelength, linear velocity, energy, angular momentum, etc. Even you may wonder about the point mass of this electron, which electron? Zero point in sodium atom, not from now on, not in hydrogen atom, because hydrogen atom has single electron sodium atom has 11 electrons 11 protons sodium atom is what multi-electron atom what is the corresponding point energy of the 0 0.7518 nanometer wavelength size electron motion form it is 2640.38 10 to the minus 19 joules okay yes like this where I don't want to confuse your mind now. Yes. What did I say? According to my theory and my formulas, each ionization energy value in an atom corresponds to only one proton bound electron motion form and corresponds to its initial imbalance wavelength in that atom. Therefore, for sodium atom highest ionization energy 2641 10 to the minus goes on corresponds to smallest proton bound electron motion forms 0 0.7518 nanometer wavelength. Code. This was code, remember? This was password of sodium atom, one of the main passwords. Yes. Yes, I hope you see.
what is the corresponding point energy of the 0 0.7518 nanometer wavelength size electron motion form? It is, it is 2640.38 10 to the minus 19 joules. Where can you find this 2640 10 to the minus 19 joules value energy? For instance, you can find this energy value in the ionization energies of elements table. For instance, from Wikipedia. This value is the value of 11th last and highest ionization energy of a sodium atom. Okay. For sodium atom, snapshot. And again, snapshot. And again, snapshot. Yes. And again, snapshot. Yes. Now, now. Sample from Wikipedia ionization energy table goes on for approximately 100 elements. And this is last, this is last, this is last, last, last. And here my prediction. I have a formula about this. Okay. And for sodium. Last one, ionization energy is sodium. Okay, for sodium joule ten to the minus nineteen, not EV joules. Okay, for sodium. Last tenth, eleventh, first goes. Okay. Now, yes, this value is the value of eleventh last and highest ionization energy of a sodium atom. According to me, according to me. Yes, left side from Wikipedia, right side, my prediction. Compare, then left side from Wikipedia, right side, my prediction. And I have formulas about finding highest ionization and smallest electron motion forms wavelength in an atom here. Right side mine area. Yes. Yes, 
speak goes off. Right. Yes, this value is the value of 11th last and highest ionization energy of a sodium atom. According to me, each ionization energy value of an atom corresponds a specific at rest different sized wavelength of a proton bound electron motion form. A different wavelength size electron is bound to each proton in an atom. There are as many bonded electrons in an atom as there are protons. protons. An electron motion form that has highest ionization energy is the smallest electron